If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And it beats the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? Stephen here. Welcome back to a brand new video. We are going to review... Niederlechner. I'm not sure if that's how you say his name. Probably not. That's gonna. I'm gonna call him Niederlechner from now on because why not? Um, there's a lot of work to do for this one. It's the same as most, if not all, of these league objective cards. So you have to win, win, not play, win 15 matches only using Bundesliga players in the starting 11. Score 30 using Bundesliga players. Assist 20 using Bundesliga players. Score an outside of the box goal using Bundesliga players. And then score a finesse goal, you've guessed it, using Bundesliga players. And of course, there's certain match requirements. So the outside is like four separate matches. The finesse is six separate. But, you know, that's all irrelevant because the main takeaway from that really is that you are going to need to win 16, no, 15 matches. That, for some people, will take as long as a weekend league would take. You know, some people are going to go 15 and, and, and 15, making it 30 games. Other people might even take longer again because, okay, most of us watching this, we've got a, a firm, firm grasp on the game. We are decent at the game. We're not great. Well, some of us might be, but we're not terrible, that's for sure. Otherwise, you wouldn't be that into it, you know? If you're watching this video, you are into FIFA, whether you like it or not. So you're probably quite good at the game, or at least reasonably good, above casual. This is a card that you are going to have to put in a fair amount of time to unlock. And when you look at the stats, it just doesn't scream quality. It's not a card really worth the amount of time, at least on paper. Even though, saying that, it is and it isn't, right? Because... Three-star skills, very bad start. You know, most people these days, if it doesn't have four-star skills, don't care about it, right? Four-star weak foot, which is good. High, high work rates, not ideal. Would love a high attacking work rate. The high defensive is, yeah, it's it's annoying. And then, of course, the acceleration. There is a big gap there. 84 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. That is frustrating. The, the gap between them is annoying. If it was the other way around, it wouldn't be as bad, but it's still a little bit annoying. His finishing is really good. 91 positioning, 93 finishing, 97 shot power. Uh, long shots, 80, which could be better, but it's not the end of the world. And, of course, the uh, the volleys as well is decent if you'd like to flick the ball up and take a shot here or there. Uh, short passing is actually not bad, 87. Vision's 80. Everything else in that passing department is awful. Can't cross, can't take free kicks, don't ask him to pass it long, and his curve is questionable as well. That's why his passing stat is actually 75 on his card. It's saved by that short passing and that vision, otherwise it would quite literally be in the 60s. And then his dribbling. His dribbling's actually decent. 88 almost across the board, 89 balance, 93 reactions. I mean, for a big guy, six foot two. this guy is, that's not bad really. And then really good in the air. Very good stamina, great strength, nice aggression, can't jump, but guess what? He's 6'2", doesn't really need to jump. On paper, he's a 91 rated striker. Points per position, 91, even though he's only an 89 rated card. The problem with this card and with so many other cards, and I don't need the card to be within a certain, I don't know, criteria for me to enjoy it. I don't need it to be quote-unquote meta, but at the same time, the more... Again, I'm doing like air quotations here, but the more meta the card is, the easier he is to use. Not that he's like the better he is, but it just doesn't feel like I'm trying to drive a bus. You know, I'm trying to play football with a Fiat 500, you know, not necessarily very good, but it will get you to A to B and it will turn around corners. If you're trying to do that with a lorry, it's going to take you longer to get there and you have to think about it more because A, it's a lot bigger, can't move. What an analogy that is, but it works. And that's exactly what this Niederlechner card is does to you really you have to think about what you're going to do about four minutes before you're going to do it because you quite literally cannot turn with him the agility is high the balance is high for a six foot two rated or not rated for a six foot two player his agility and his balance are actually quite high and of course depending on what chem style you give him you could bump that up even more so i mean i'm going to flick through a few on my screen but an engine for example gives him 99 balance 93 agility does that improve the card 
Actually, yes. Yes, it does. I did this the other day with, um, I forget his name, Marusic, is it? The centre-back for Lazio, who is normally a right mid. He felt a little bit stiff. He was quick, but he wasn't quite you know, agile enough. He wasn't mobile enough. I gave him a Guardian and it sort of just loosened him up a little bit. It was like spraying him from head to toe in WD-40. Just made him a little bit more slick. And he felt a lot better in game. And that's exactly what happens with this uh, Niederlichter card as well. If you give him an engine, first game I played, no chem style whatsoever. I'm doing that a little bit more now on these type of cards that I'm thinking, eh, might not be the best. I'll use him without a chem style and see if a chem style fixes it. It doesn't fix it necessarily, but it does make him feel a little bit more mobile, a little bit more agile, give him that engine, gives him that agility, that balance, the dribbling boost, which is nice. You bump up the acceleration and the sprint speed, which in my opinion he needs because of his height. And then of course you do improve the passing. So now his curve isn't actually terrible. His short passing, his vision are much better. His crossing again now isn't awful. So yeah, that takes him only to a 92 rated striker or just above a 92. It's like 92.1 or something stupid like that. But either way, I think it's one of those cards that if you're a fan, if you're an Augsburg fan, for example, Augsburg, Augsburg, if you're a fan of that club, you will like this card and you'll get on with it and you'll be happy that you've done it. If you're a German league fan, Bundesliga fan, you just want to see more cards from your league, again, you won't mind doing this. However, for the vast majority of people who play the game to get rewards in champs, play rivals, you want to try and improve your team, and even the casual for a completely different reason, I don't think this is going to be worth your time. A, because A, he won't improve your team in any way, shape or form. He's a fun card to use because he can be a little bit challenging, especially without a chem style, but even with the chem style, can be a little bit challenging, so it's fun to use. But he's not going to improve your rivals team, he's not going to improve your champs team. He's not fun in the sense of, oh, what a joy it is to play with him. He's fun in the sense of, oh, I've just managed to score a goal with him, having, you know, done a lateral heel-to-heel -heel flick and a bridge past the last defender. I've beaten Rafael Varane and I've just rounded the keeper, for example. If you score that type of goal with Niederlechner, you've really, you know, you've outdone yourself. Well done, because that is a difficult thing to do in general, beating Rafael Varane with any skill move and then taking it around the goalkeeper. is not the easiest thing in the in the world to do. But with a player like this, who isn't exactly the most agile, he doesn't feel the fastest, it's more of a, a challenge enjoyment than it is actually enjoying the card. He's very good in front of goal. He scores goals for days if he's in, within range. He feels very strong. He holds up the ball quite well. His first touch and ball control in general is actually quite good. He doesn't really feel that fast, even though he does have a massive pace boost uh, up to 98 sprint speed from his base, which is, you know, down there. And then, of course, his acceleration is up at 89 with the chem style as well, which should make him feel relatively quick, but it doesn't really make him feel fast enough, in my opinion. I just think it's a decent card, but it's a hell of a lot of work for what, you know, the kids are calling fodder these days, which is exactly what this card is going to be for the majority of people. It's going to be a card that you complete, for purely for the only reason to put it into another SBC to get something better out of it, you know. So pick him up and put him into Kostic or pick him up and put him into an icon or something. You just want that 89 rated card without having to go and spend however much he is on the market uh, or an 89 rated card is on the market. Uh, fans of the club and the player, decent little card to pick up. But for the rest of us, you might as well just play weekend league and leave it there because for a lot of people, that's exactly how it's going to be. Uh, that length of time. It's frustrating that EA don't sort of lower it down based on how good the player is probably likely to be in game. But, you know, that's just EA things for you. Let me know what you think of the card in the comments. It'd be interesting to hear your thoughts. If you have enjoyed this video, though, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye.